Hello everybody and welcome to another Assassin's Creed gameplay. I'm CMAT, your little assassin host that's going to kill all of your boredom. So cuddle up with your favorite snacks and let's see where the shadows take us. We're going to start off where we left off. Huh. Right at the edge. And into these catacombs where hopefully we will find Da Vinci because he's missing. And we gotta find that guy. Yay! I love the underground stuff. My favorite to do. My sweetness, my little kitty will probably come in and I'll have to pet her for a little bit, but she deserves it, so. The Temple of Pythagoras. Enter the catacombs to find Leonardo and free him from his captors. Do not lose any health squares. Okay. All right. Ooh, oh, might not have seen that. I hear something. I hear something. But it could be anywhere, right? Where is it? Where is it, though? I totally heard it over there. There it is, there it is. in the water is so trippy. Oops. How naive You have thought you sought Green knowledge as I did. Why seek knowledge without putting it to use? We have the chance to fashion a better world. One in which we have the freedom to shape our own destiny. And what if I choose not to be a part of your vision? That is foolish. Do you not see? We can banish ignorance. Free people from their social classes and kingdoms, from their animal emotions. Everyone will have the truth in their grasp. Beating me down here in the dark enlightens the people of Italia. The Pythagorean unifier is in the temple. We both know it. That number is coming to all nature, all things. It is the source. With it, we can open the minds and souls of men. We can fill them with knowledge. As above, oh. so below. That is the hermetic vow. As above, Together, so we below. Will make mankind into gods. Now show me the answer. Why? Wow. Do you not know where it is? How could I? Do you know mankind wants and needs. Okay, I sorry. We're gonna try that again. Oh, where is it? Guess. I am finished with your obstinacy. Not today, then. I want to help him. <laughs> my body may feel pain, but my mind will remain unharmed. Impressive. Do it again. Why can't I grab it? I feel like I should be able to grab that. 
I don't want to keep hearing Da Vinci getting smacked or punched in the face over and over again. Clearly we have to go here first. And it's not letting me go up, so I can't go up. <laughs> Stop hitting him. Okay, there we go, up. Ugh. I can see him. But... Um... Okay, drop. Okay, I have to go up, but... I don't think there's a way I can get over. Okay. One of these I have to jump to. I don't know, they both look... Oh my god, stop hitting them. The camera angles make it really difficult to figure out which one I'm supposed to do. Okay. So when I get up there... Um... Okay, up there. Okay, sweet. I think... Oh, what are you doing? You were supposed to grab that. <laughs> Don't worry, Da Vinci, I'm coming. Hold out a little longer, bro. Why? I didn't do anything. I didn't let go or anything. Um, these controls just suck. It's not me that sucks. It's the controls that suck. It's this game that kind of sucks. All this water, he just keeps falling in, and his hands are too slippery. And that crack is right there, so maybe I need to go a little bit more to the right. Not digging the soundtrack, though. <laughs> yeah, go over a little bit more before you get okay better. All right. Okay, maybe this way, right? Okay. <laughs> no? Okay. I thought that maybe that rock was, you know, where I had to go. I can't go over here. Okay, I need to get a better look. So, once I'm up here, I can jump there, I can jump there, probably to that one, and I tried. Wait, what's that? What's Not quite sure where to go. Oh, good lord. That was my fault, I pressed shift. Way. Oh! Oh, oh! Nice try. Yeah. Okay. Nice try, Satan. But not today. Okay. I think I have to to run up that. Oh, or. Okay. All right. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. Now where? Okay. 
Okay. I wish there was a checkpoint. Okay. Yeah, definitely. I got this. Just really obnoxious <coughs> camera angles. <laughs> Give me a checkpoint. Stop! Ezio Auditore! He's like beaten to a pulp, but this time. You but who arrested Cesare Borgia, who stopped the spread of Roman ignorance, convince our friend Leonardo to open the temple and usher in the golden age of mankind. Should I persuade our friend by kicking him? Or would you rather I use my knife? On the contrary, there is nothing I would like more than an amiable solution. Help Leonardo see reason. With the Pythagorean Unifar, we will remake humanity together. Not under my creed. Then the revolution will begin without you. Ucciderlo! After him! Alright. Yay, checkpoint reached. Leonardo, I must know! Please, for the future of mankind! Tell me! I think there's one thing I can like appreciate about this game is like the contortions of the dead characters <laughs> NPCs. Tartar Amenic? Good night. Shit. I don't know what I, I can use all these things for, but I feel like I can get something really cool for them. Okay. Who didn't I loot? That's good enough. Can we climb this? We are all the same on the- <laughs> Sweet. You... An assassin? The enemy of knowledge? One must choose to search for truth. Forcing it on others accomplishes little. These lost people... Warring kingdoms... I would have... Ended their suffering. Che tu possa conoscere la verità nella morte. Reguiescat in pace. Come, let us leave this place. We cannot, Ezio. Not without reaching the final room of the temple. You are hurt. I will be fine. If that number is left intact, we risk another madman discovering it. Thank goodness I sent Massimo to look for my paintings. It delayed their progress significantly. Let's see. Oh, I'm gonna take that. Uh, excuse me. 
little treasures here and there. Okay. The Pythagoreans cool. believed that the soul moved through cracks in the earth, like a beam of light. It ignites fire, which symbolizes knowledge. It's so pretty, covered in moss. Zelda vibes. Hello? Is that where you want me to go? Is this it? Is this where you want me to go? Oh. Up. Up, my darling. Why can't you go up? You don't wanna? You don't wanna go up? Oh yeah, because I need this. I'm dirt. Easy for you to say. So good. It's going pretty smooth. Haven't had to like repeat. Really we must continue onward. That's pretty loud. Okay. We're facing this way, so I assume. Oh wait, do I just need to drop now? Okay. <laughs> I suppose Salah is out having fun spending my ardent florins. He is safe at home. I am relieved. About the florins, of course. You do not need to lie to me. Salah fits you. I approve. I am... Leonardo da Vinci at a loss for words. That is a first. room could use some light. Do you hear that? The sound of wind. Ooh. There's some alchemy in this game. Oh, there's some alchemy in this game. <laughs> the Pythagoreans believed all the forces of nature could be whittled down to numbers. Mathematica can then act on nature, allowing man to harness nature's power. Oh. Okay. Hmm. All 
right. Now I can get back up here. Final room before we reach the center. Knowledge. Correct. Harmony was achieved for the Pythagoreans when multiplicity became unity, when many thoughts combined to form one original idea. Checkpoint reached.
would help if I fall. So it sounds really yes. loud to me. How enlightening. Very funny. Getting like Final Fantasy vibes. Because of the music. Just a little bit. Zelda and Final Fantasy vibes. jump? Are we doing it? is achieved, but the door is not opening. Leonardo, come here. Recognize these symbols? No. Wait. These are the symbols that were shown to me by the Apple of Eden. They are in the wrong order. Let me just... If I rearrange these... Done! are not Pythagorean symbols. 43, 39, 19, N, 
Charter a ship to Navarre. We must finish with Cesare Borgia. It is not intended for us. Ezio, what are you not telling me? What else are you working on? Well, I have begun several dissection studies. Then King Louis XII seems interested in hiring me as an engineer. Oh, yes, I'm thinking of repainting the Saint John lost in the Villa Fire. Salai would model for it again, of course. Then, perhaps I will study a woman with child to see how her body changes. Interesting. <laughs> Tell me more. Technology that's not meant for us. Advanced technology. Filled with mystery and also like, man, I'm not ready for this. That was cool that they put that in there. Desmond, thanks to you we have found what you were looking for. Lucy was right about Ezio's piece of Eden. It acted through Leonardo to reveal its secrets. You have saved its uh, saved its valuable time, of which we have less and less. Please do not inform Lucy or Sean of your discovery. Our secret, our security depends on it now. I must go, but it will see you soon. So much fun. I love doing the little catacombs. more underground stuff. That stuff is so much fun. I know, but I can't do this one yet because I have to do all the Romulus places first. And the last time I went here, it was blocked off, so I couldn't do it. Um... Alright, let's go down to this one so that we can see if we can buy any of these. Okay. Okay, just go to this one. It's giving me over it for some reason. Yes, me and Ezio match. He's my dad. to go over here and over there. Time to buy more stuff to increase that revenue. It's 
widely accepted that Emperor Constantine I had an insatiable thirst for gloating, so when he defeated Emperor Maxentius and took the throne in 312, no one was surprised when he built this arch to commemorate his victory. Most of the artwork on the arch was plundered from existing monuments and modified to alter its meaning. Some historians contend that the artisans of the 4th century simply didn't have the talent to create such ornate pieces and only completed the arch by recycling old master works from ruins around the city. A preposterous claim, as the Romans never copied anything. See what I did there? Sarcasm. <laughs> oh. Okay. Can I afford this? Yes. Do it. <gasps> There's a flag up there. How do I get it? How do I get up? How do I get up there? That looks like something. Yeah, see? No? And then meh. Uh huh. Yeah. Upsie? No? No upsie? There it is. This flag is mine. Okay. I don't think I can afford anything else right now. But that's something. Now I want to go to this direction. Because while I was passing it one time, there's another one right here. I don't think... Okay, we'll read it though. Built by Emperor Domitian in 82 CE to honor his dead brother Titus, the Arco di Tito commemorates Titus's victory. In the sack of Jerusalem. Um, this arch became an inspiration for many arches to be erected thereafter, most notably the Arc of Triumph in Par Par Paris, in, as well as Cons Constantine's Arch. Sorry, I like choked up on Titus and Tito because I was like, wait, should it be Tito? <laughs> because I'm pronouncing this Tito, I'm just kind of... Yeah, not enough money, it's okay. We'll come back. Okay. A spade, a spade. Alright. Do you require medical assistance? Okay. I'm gonna go to this area that I found. What do you do? I never said go. I'm gonna go to this one space that I found that kind of, there was like a little pop-up that said that there was something there that needed to be explored, but when I looked around I didn't see anything. So I'm gonna go back and see if that pop-up comes up again, but apparently this area that I'm going to have something there. away. Okay, we got Rebecca. A set of coordinates Sean took from subject 16 converges on this landmark. Maybe you should check it, check it out. Another one of the seven hills of Rome upon which the ancient city was built, Aventino, was mainly a suburb during the monarchy and early republic. In 400, uh, 456 BCE, a law was passed allowing plebeians to own 
property on the hill, causing the city to quickly grow beyond its walls. This rapid expansion made it far more vulnerable to capture by the Gauls. Only after a bloody invasion, the Senate passed a motion to build a new wall encircling Aventino, a delayed reaction strikingly similar to that found before the passage of healthcare reform in the US. Okay, so I put a marker. So I guess it marked another place for me. Look around. Just explore. Maybe I'll find a box. What's that? Oh. Oh no, I don't see anything. <laughs> There's like a pillar, but I can't interact with it. I mean, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what that means. somewhere? Mm. I don't know, it seems like it would make sense to do, to go here. Oh, is that a Borgia Tower? The price of the... I have a selection of exquisite religious implements, fit to brain the Easter invader in God's good name. Oh, well, I'll get that. Wait, what's that? What's, uh, what's glowing up there? Okay, oh, okay, I see that flag over there. Maybe that's just another flag. Just last month, the Visconti bought 300 of my finest sabers for his cavalry. Okay. That looks like something, right?
understand. Am I supposed to like interact with it somehow? Is this glowing light? Or is that like some kind of glitch? here I, I see this thing this glowing thing I don't really know how why is that there I can't really interact with it yeah I don't know job. Not the bashful type, is it? I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. things that I need to investigate. <coughs> what? What are you? Oh no. Those are just haystack and na 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 na. What? And that's a... It's a... Something. <coughs> Rebecca is talking about. Or it's on the other side. Look at it like one more time. I don't know what to do about it though. Yeah, I don't know. Hopefully, I'll figure it out. I mean, I can I can try to climb it again. Uh, I'm not very confident that I'm meant to do anything with it, but yeah, it's, this game is very unclear in a lot of ways. All right, I see you. Get to that landing. Get that. <laughs> Screwing around. Climb it. Oh, I should probably do that in case I fall. Okay, let's go to the top. Maybe we can get a clear perspective on things. Okay. 
No, no, no. It's your new. I wanted the highest quality. Okay, Guaranteed. that's the second time that happened. And I'm not going to tolerate the it. Third. exquisite workmanship of my tradesmen. Get up there. Okay, that's not, that's not it though. That's not it. That's not it. Unless... trouble doing this before. Wait, can I can I grab that? Yes. Okay. I'm like right over it now, right? No, I guess not. Where is it? Where is this glitch in the matrix? There it is. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think I can interact with it. Maybe it's just like a sign symbol something. think uh, yeah I don't know what it is I have investigated this area and I have found nothing Uh, I mean, the only thing I could think of is like run around and look for a hole or something that goes underneath the mountain. See if there's like an entrance somewhere. I'll have to look at it. Rebecca82 or something like that. Ooh, excuse me. Um, but there was a bug on you. Okay. Enough screwing around. Let's screw around somewhere else. I'm not quite sure where to go next. Let us. Troubleshoot. Okay. I mean, so there's like this area, these areas. This wasn't open to me. This wasn't open to me before. So. But we'll try. And we'll 
we'll just have to, I guess, go back there some other time. All right, horsey. Let's ride. Bye, Rebecca82. Enough of your goose chases. Rebecca 84, a set of coordinates Sean took. Yeah, I heard you. One of the ancient, oh, this is a different one. One of the ancient aqueducts that supplied the city at its peak, that aqueta, Cla the aqua, Akegdoto. Claudia was able to provide all 14 districts with water the, they, that hugely, the, the hugely relied upon source inexplic inexplicably went dry for nine years, right around the time Nero was building his modern go golden palace. Um, his little pet project required vast amount of money, but luckily the main build site was at the foot of Claudia's Castellum, or storage res reservoir. When the palace was completed, the water conveniently came back to this day. Historians are baffled as to what caused the drought. My bet? Dramatic tension. Alright, like, just try it again, like... It's me. Um, this aqueduct... Okay. Whoa. Yeah! It's... it's... It looks like it's like grayed out or lighter in color, oh. but oh, here's another one. I guess it's not. Um, named for Celius Vibena, it's unclear whether he received the honor for settling the hill or if his friend Servius Tullius merely wanted to commemorate him posthumously. Either way, as one of the seven hills of Rome, Cielo was a fashionable resident, residential district for the wealthy during the Republican era of Rome. Okay. Mm. Okay. okay, wait, this way? You're not letting me? Hey, hey! I guess I'm just following the marker. Rebecca 84. Um, maybe up here? We'll see. Oh no, I can't get there. It's over here. Can I go over here? No. Okay. Turn around. Yeah! area so I can't go there um yeah okay yeah I didn't get that aqueduct okay well um okay let's go back this way then turn around really looks like is there like plateaus everywhere oh here's another thing okay the smallest of the seven hills of rome the male is shaped like a little finger pointing upward um the cent uh towards the central city at the top stands the palace of the male which is the office of the ministry of interior this little hill was also home to the terme di dioclexiano which were renowned renowned as the grandest of the public baths i love public baths Oh, in theory, hey, hey. I don't really want to go to a public bath, but... Alright. Uh, 
difficulty too. I would like to do this if I can. Will it let me? Where am I? Okay. There was a desynchronization shield. It's still there. It's still there. It's over here. What's that? What is this? Oh, cool. Didn't know I could access this. It's your auditor! Come in, come in! I'll kill you if you don't. <laughs> Bartolomeo. Wait here. You have to meet my wife. Fantasilea! Fantasilea! Where is she? Did you check behind the table? Ah, here she is. Lieta di conoscervi. Charmed. Truly. Now, we talk about war. How was the fight against the French? Bene. My men are holding their own. Machiavelli seemed to think things were more difficult. You know Machiavelli... Abbiamo bisogno del vostro aiuto! Scusatemi. Throw me Bianca. Ezio, let me get straight to the point. The fight is not going well. We have been attacked on both sides. Borgia on one, French on the other. But know this. The Borgia position is weak. If you can defeat them, we can concentrate our forces on the French front. I think I know a way to help. Thank you for disclosing this to me, Madonna Dalviano. It is the least a wife can do to help her husband. Okay, between a rock and a hard place. Eliminate the Borgia captain, sending his troops to attack the barracks so the mercenaries can um, focus entirely on the French assault. Kill only the Borgia cap. Only? Oh my gosh. Check point reach. Tab. Database. Born in the town of Alviano in central Italy, Bartol Bartolomeo grew up, grew up to be a clever and resourceful soldier after spending several years in Venice, during which he aided Ezio Auditore in his campaign against the Silvio Barbarigo and Dante Moro at the arsenal. Barto Bartolomeo joined the or Orsini family in 1496, the fight against the Pope and Cesare, who um, were attempting to seize Orsini territory. Someone stop their leader before he gets to the tower! Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ooh. Did I do it? Do I do it? Oh yes! Oh yes! 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 Okay. Yes. That's what I was missing this whole time. That's what I was missing. That's all I needed to activate, um, to like the de to dismantle the desynchronization shield. Ugh. This whole time I could have done this already. I just didn't know that I could reach that memory. Okay. Wait, can I get up this way? Let's see. This, this pleases me very much. I am very pleased by this. So pleased. So very pleased that I might have to kill something. But I want that 100% synchronization, so. I only killed the Borgia captain. Victory is guaranteed. Let's do that. Sinky, sinky. Alright. Um, sink. Perfect. Okay. 
opportunities. No problem. Of course. We sent those luridi codardi running for the hills. Yes, we did. Now that the Pope's dogs have fled, I will be able to draw more men to the fight. But first I want to reinforce our barracks. Who will take care of this? I'm no good with these things. You are the educated one. You approve the plans. Va bene. But in return, I need to know Cesare and Rodrigo's every move. Can your men keep track of them for me? Of course. Talk to the architect to renovate the mercenary back of barracks. Okay. Hello. Okay. So I didn't realize I had like all these things that I could read. I, just, I guess I just ignored them before. Right. Now we have mercenaries. I can't wait to get assassins. We need to get those. Isn't she a thing of beauty? Very impressive. More men join us every day. It has become very competitive, which is just the way I like it. As you can see, this board shows the ranks of our top warriors. Prove your skills, and you will move up the list. <laughs> Shouldn't I already be at the top? Jan's fighting downstairs! If you're looking to show off, we also have fights. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got money on this match. <laughs> Where is Bartolomeo? At the fight downstairs. 
he has such an aggressive view of the world. However, strategy is equally important. Take these carrier pigeons, for example. Each one sent from Machiavelli bears the name of an important Templar in Roma. Eliminate them, and you will have more of an impact than a battle ever could. Thank you, Madonna. Can you ask Bartolomeo to come see me at Isola Tiberina with a report about Cesare and Rodrigo's whereabouts? He will be there. Yay! Full synchronization. <laughs> okay. Now, what can I do with this? Okay. All right. Um. Lights are available. Pigeon coop. Vigit. Oh. Assassination contracts! Yeah! Alright, okay. Wait, let me go down here. Mercenaries. Okay. I don't need to read about that. Nothing like a fight to get the blood flowing! Okay. Mercenaries. Um, complete. Beat all mercenaries within time limit. Place your bets. Oh, it's bets. Okay. I don't know. I don't. I don't know what I'm doing. A challenging fight has been unlocked. Okay. Um, place your bets. I don't know. Where is Okay, I'm not going, I don't want to. I'm good. Okay. Maybe some other time. All right, one more. One more. Hit! Here to fight? I don't really know what this is going to do, but. Three mercenaries at a time. Where are they? Okay. I was hoping that they would punch me and I'd do some kind of cool counterattack, but they weren't hitting me uh, in a predictable way. All right. What's up? Madonna, has Machiavelli sent word? Yes. The pigeons deliver the names of key papal agents. The Jubilee has brought pilgrims to Roma. Their money taken by the church in exchange for absolution. Threats of damnation terrorize those reluctant to pay. The agents' collections go directly to Cesare. I will make money the least of their worries. Okay, new assassination contracts unlocked. Is this 
another. I mean, another mercenary faction. I, I guess. I don't know. They said more is better. Else we got and then we have a memory over here okay cool finally more things to do all right come my darling it's fake whoa your assigned target. Okay. In an, in an attempt to scare the citizens of Roma, the Bordria have hired two notoriously cruel guards to beat up anyone they see. Remove them from the streets to give the people hope. Kill both targets with your hidden blade. Okay. If I have to kill them... Okay, no. Okay, sweet. They're different. For some reason, I have, like, a difficult time... Assassinating like two people at once right next to each other. With the How far away are these guys? Do I need the horse? I do. Definitely need the horse. Come, come your majesty. We have killings to do. You are a part of the problem. You think this is not a time limit? They're very spread out. Yeah! She's not my surprise. The Very spread out. Try 
to avoid the guards. Try. Okay, here's our next one. Mm. Where are you? There you are. Hi, sweetie. do it with the hidden blade. So let's see how he moves around. I hear something. Do you hear it? Do you hear it? It's so close and so loud. There's a box. There's there's something around here I can hear. It. Okay. I know I heard it. Right here. And now I don't hear it anymore. Alright. Do I have to turn it in? Okay. Cool. At least I know that these are here. part of the game or there's like a yeah, stuff around I don't know maybe not okay. let's see if there's like a porta potty portal nearby there isn't okay because I want to go down there um but I don't where's the nearest one I guess this one's the nearest one. Meh. Let your finger this. Go on! You know you want to! Bless you. You lost your mind? Oh. Damn! Machiavelli, we must talk. Hello? Yes. I secured something of great worth from one of my contacts. We now have the names of several Templar agents Cesare has recruited to terrorize Roma. How do I find them? I can give you a general location. I suggest looking for signs of distress nearby. Perhaps you will uncover citizens who can point you in the right direction. My contact will continue searching for more names. 
This information came from a city guard. Yes. How did you know? Lucky guess. Grazie. Claudia, Bartolomeo and La Volpe are waiting for you inside. I can't imagine how you did it. Virtù, Machiavelli. Virtù? What have you discovered? That bastardo Cesare is in the Castel Sant'Angelo with the Pope. My spies tell me that the apple has been secreted to someone for a study. I am working on determining his identity. Caterina will be moved to the prison within the Castello next week. Bene. So the Castello it is. Roma will heal quickly with Cesare and Rodrigo gone. Only if the opportunity to assassinate them arises will I take it. Do not repeat your mistake in the vault. You must kill them now. I'm with Machiavelli, Ezio. We should not wait. Bartolomeo is right. They must pay for Mario's death. Do not worry. They will die. You have my word. <laughs> Dang. Okay. Hello? Sir Ezio, I represent the combined resources of Bartolomeo del Viano, Claudio Auditore, and La Volpe. Through my associates spread across the city, you can channel your florins to any part of the underground you desire. You may have seen notices posted around Roma which allow you to purchase buildings. Income from your new tenants will be deposited with bookkeepers, as well as additional profit from renovations. Bookkeepers can be found throughout the city. Molto bene. Perfect recall. Collective intelligence. One hundred percent. Memory sync sequence three complete. Are you gonna Yeah. Wake up. Killing spree cheat unlocked. Sequence four. Den of Okay. New contract assignments unlocked. All right. We've done lots of things, and I had so much fun playing in the catacombs. I love doing little memories like that. Um, and then we did that pesky little Borgia tower that I just like had that desynchronization shield that I've been trying to get around forever, and I just needed to activate that memory. So that's been taken care of. Um, and now we can do assassin assignments. So that has benefits, which I may not completely understand just yet. So we've done some things. So we're gonna end it here and then we'll pick back up another day and hopefully get to do some Romulus catacombs and tombs and stuff, because I love doing those. But until then, I hope you have a wonderful night. Take care of yourself and live long and prosper.